Hello everybody, it's your boy Ronnie Bizzle coming to you with a old school type video that um, the way I learned reselling when I first started, when I discovered this wonderful world of reselling. This is how I got into it, this is how I got enthusiastic about it. Um, I used to watch like uh, old school resellers do sales video by doing screenshot videos of what they sold. And I thought that was really cool and that's when I learned a lot of stuff uh, about what sells, what doesn't sell. So I decided, I've done this a few times, but I decided um, I'm gonna start this new series where I'm gonna record my uh, top 10 sales from each month, every month, um, starting with um, today. Um, we're gonna go through the uh, September, um, my top 10 sales of September 2022. Um, I'm gonna show you the items that sold, the price sold, uh, some background, like where I got it, how much I paid for it, and maybe some interesting nuggets of why I chose um, these items to pick up to resell on eBay. So let's go through it. We have, like I said, 10 items that we are gonna go through. So let's get started on September 2022 sales video. All right, the first thing I sold is one of my favorite jeans brands. I love selling jeans, but in particular, I like selling designer jeans. For some reason, designer jeans always do well. And this is one of the brands that I really like selling. This is Adriana Goldschmidt AG. The Everett Slim Straight Pants. I got this at a Salvation Army half off. Um, I think I paid like four bucks for this. And these jeans go for really, really good, really, really big money retail. I'm talking 150, 200. I even seen jeans at the local outlet here in Vegas for like $300. And these jeans always sell quickly for me. It doesn't matter what the size is, doesn't matter what the look is, what the color. The condition this brand of jeans always sells well so if you see this brand out in the garage sales in the thrift stores pick this up it's adriana goldschmidt um five bucks and i turned to 40 it's the best offer for, and i took 40 dollars for it plus shipping all right the second thing i picked up is this really cool lot of um old stock cd odyssey games Medworks, I think that's how you say it, Gameworks Interactive. I got this at a garage sale uh, with a bunch of other computer stuff. And I think I paid, I wanna say two or three dollars a piece for it. And I knew this would sell, I put this at a high price because I said I saw nothing like it on eBay. And generally speaking, when I'm selling on eBay, if the item is not on eBay, no matter what it is, if there's no competition, I tend to price a little higher and see where I go from there. And I put this at $44.99 and it's sold um, for $40.49 plus shipping. So look out for old um, software, um, dead stock they call it, that's sealed. This was sealed, the key, it, it was sealed. And that's why I think it sold for so much and that's why I think I was able to sell it at a big price so when you have the garage sales stores, look out for these old computer games because they do sell all right the next thing that I sold is this Johnson and Murphy sports coats plaid dual look at the color in there I picked this up at a savers half off um, I paid probably after the discount six bucks for it and Johnson's Murphy as Johnson and Murphy is usually a brand that sells known for their shoes and the shoes some of the shoes in Johnson and Murphy go for for really big money but you know don't skip stuff like this sports coat um I bought this because of the brand of course I bought it because of the color and the design you know with sports coats in general you kind of want to avoid um, crappy brands like low-end brands 
like, you know, Stafford or whatever, unless it's like made out of some material like cashmere. But also, you want to stay away from like the common colors if it's not um, made out of cashmere. Like I would, like um, like a Hugo Boss, but if it's black, doesn't really sell as well if it's a Hugo Boss and it's red. The sports coat's red. So you want to look for like unusual colors in sports coat. I'm talking red, I'm talking green, I'm talking even yellow. Uh, sports coats do better than a plain like black uh, sports coat and also the design look for these designs and also look for sports coats with um, uh, unusual like fabric like cashmere alpaca is another brand another one um, Harris tweed some of it will do well but some of it won't get here or miss but if you can get um, a good design like this, plus a good material like cashmere, you, you can pretty much buy any sports coats and it will sell. But like I said, I tend to skip over, even if it's a good brand, like I've skipped over Hugo Bosses and like, um, uh, what's another good uh, like, uh, high-end brand? Um, Irmary Girdle Zenia is another one that I will skip over a lot of the solid color, like black and blue, because they just tend not to sell well. Unless, it's a, like I said, it's um, the, the, the design or the material, and, and the size also. If it's a big size, they could sell really, really well. All right, next thing that sold, we're looking at a baseball glove. A seventy one ninety nine. This is a Wilson two zero zero two baseball glove, and the reason why it sold so well is because of the brand Wilson. Um, this type, this um, model sells for really good money, and it's left handed. You tend to uh, the left handed gloves and a good brand tend to sell better than a right handed. I don't know why, probably because there's not too many left handers, of course. But yeah, pick up uh, baseball gloves are usually cheap at uh, garage sales. I mean, I've, I've picked up baseball gloves for like two bucks, three bucks, a dollar, and they sell for like 50, 60 bucks all the time if you get a good one in a really good condition. And as you can see, even though this is worn out a little bit, look at it, it's still worn out. People still buy it. People like gloves that are already used because they don't have to worry about oiling it and breaking it in. So don't be afraid to pick up gloves, but don't pick gloves like right here, the webbing here. I'll see, one second guys. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, the webbing here, see the webbing right there? Right there on this side right here. If that's um, coming off, then you shouldn't buy it. But if that part is good or so sturdy, pick it up all right let's go to the next thing that sold we are looking at red wing irish setter hunt ravine tactical scent boots um i got this at a this industry store store i paid 12 dollars for this really good condition um looks like it's barely been used as you can see and i sold it for 63 dollars uh red wing is a brand you should always pick up um, even if the condition isn't the greatest, for some reason that brand sells really, really well because it's really well made. But this was like, as you can see, it's barely been used. I mean, it was like a bit of a small scuff on the front here. But yeah, if you pick up Red Wing in this condition, really, really does well. And as you can see, this the inner sole is actually replaced. So. Even even with that, it's still sold for sixty dollars, and I think I got positive feedback for this. So, pick up Red Wings, and um, you won't be sorry. They sell really really well. All right, the next thing that I sold is this Fuji Filmpix XP waterproof graphite black digital camera. I picked it up with a lot of other cameras. For, I think I paid 20 bucks for it at a garage sale 
and this was good because it was like really good condition tested out um, came with the box which is key came with the instructions which is key came with it's complete which is key so 20 bucks I probably had 7 8 bucks into it and I sold for $80.99 so that was a really really good sell so um, these uh, digital, some of these digital cameras can go for really really really, really good money and uh, if you look out for a Fiji film this is all for really really good money all right the next thing that sold is one of my <laughs> this was a fun um, pickup um, this is a Wonder Bread racing suit costume Talladega Nights two-piece style medium I picked this up at a um, Desert Industries um, thrift store and I paid 12 bucks for this now I picked this up because I know this is like the type of thing that from, from the movie Talladega, Tal, Tal, Talladega Nights with Will Ferrell this is the thing he wore and when I looked up initially I saw the keyword Talladega Nights and I knew this was it would be perfect so I bought it for 12 put it for 80 duck. this sold like right away maybe within like four days four or five days of listing this was up and gone so I was really happy with that so look up look up for like clothing that um, connects with the audience like if they see this type of like somebody probably bought this, the person that bought this probably saw television nights and saw and and wanted to dress like it for Halloween because Halloween is coming up or a costume party or something and they saw this I'm I'm, I'm, gonna, dress, I'm gonna just like that guy I'm gonna look at eBay and try to find a cost um a, uh, outfit that matches what I saw on TV. Now, it doesn't have to be Talladega Nights, give it any movie, but you know, people look for this stuff. And this is like an example of kind of thinking outside the box, like what one thinking of like what the consumer is looking for. And if you think it's something that consumer is looking for and it's unusual, you set it at a high price and it will sell. Believe me, it will sell. So I'm really happy with that. So 12 into 79.9 plus shipping. All right, the next thing that sold is another sports coat. Um, this is a brand that sells really, really well. It's Ted Baker. Um, Ted Baker really sells well, but only really the sports coats and the suits sell well. Like the shirts don't sell as well as the sports goes you know I, I bought Ted Baker shirts and I still have, I have still like a couple of Ted Baker like button fronts in my store for years that still haven't sold but I've bought two Ted Baker uh, suit jackets and they both sold within a week so this is a brand or it's a really high-end um, London brand to pick up so stuff like that you want to pick up stuff like that you want to uh, buy so I paid 12 bucks so for $89.99 plus shipping so look out for Ted Baker and the, the one thing great about Ted Baker is you don't need to buy the whole suit to sell for good money the brand sells itself basically I mean there's some brands where if you don't have the complete suit you're not gonna sell it at all you're not gonna sell it. it's gonna be hard or it's gonna be a hard sell so, um, good brand like Ted Baker. This is a really, really um, high end Ted Baker Endurance J two button suits, two button wool regular. So pick up, pick that up if you can, um, and you'll be sorry. All right, this was a pretty cool find here. Um, th this is a lot of untucked long sleeve bunt front shirt, solid medium. Um, I got this at a garage sale with a bunch of other stuff. I think I paid, um, um, I think I paid two bucks each for each shirt. So I'm in, in for like fifteen dollars, maybe fifteen bucks. And this is an example of individually they'll sell well, but if you want to get a good chunk of money like right away, and the bet and it's all the same size, the best thing to do with a lot like this is to just a lot of them all together and some at one price and that's what I decided to do with this so it's all different style all different colors but the key is it's all the same size so I was able to do that 
I actually put this up for like $149 plus shipping and somebody sent me an offer for $100 as I took it and this didn't, didn't take very long to, to sell. Maybe a week or two weeks and it sold. So really, really, really happy with that. Really, really super happy with that. So if you can buy a, a lot of clothing uh, of the same brand, the same size, especially if it's a higher end, like Untuck. Untuck is a very popular um, clothing brand. Um, lot it up is probably the best way to do it. So you can get rid of a lot of inventory in one swoop at a really good, reasonable price that you're still making money and the consumer feels that he's saving money. That's the key. All right, the final thing I sold is probably the best thing I sold in the month of October. Um, this is a North Face Nupsy 700 Goose Down Puffer Down for a 1996 retro jacket. And I got this at a garage sale for 20 bucks. Well, it, it was it was a combo with this. I bought a Carhartt and a Golden Knights helmet. And I think I paid $40 for everything. So, probably in for, for I'm in for it for like maybe $13. So yeah, $13 was actually 20 because the guy actually threw in the Golden Knights helmet for free. So I'm gonna say $13, I'm in for $13. And North Face, especially these big puffer retro jackets, goose down, sells for big money. I'm talking really big money, as you can see. I sold this for $179.99 plus shipping. Um, with winter coming up, this really was one of my, a great, great sell. Um, the reason why I price so high because it's like a retro jacket style. It's a goose down North Face, goose down North Face. That combination will sell for pretty good money. Um, North Face is a brand that's kind of hit or miss depending what you buy, but these big puffer jackets in um, North Face sells for really, really good money, especially. If it's in really really good condition like this one this was in really really excellent condition I, this is pretty much flawless the guy said he wore it when he worked at Alaska at a fishing company a fishing boat in Alaska so and for someone who worked at fishing boat Alaska in a fisherman's boat in Alaska he really kept this in really really good condition because it was funny because I, I actually wanted to keep this jacket but my wife said, why don't you keep a jacket like this when you live in Las Vegas when it's hot 10 months out of the year? I said, okay, all right. So, sold it um, unwillingly, but I'm happy that I was able to flip it for almost $200. So, you know, look out for these North Face Puffer Down jackets. Anyways, yeah, those are the top 10 things that I sold during the month of September really a wide variety of things but mainly clothing which is my specialty but you know some things here got a garage sale strip stores you know it's all a matter of just knowing what to look for it what to sell it for and um, yeah really really happy with the month of September with what I got what I sold and the sales that I made Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said in the beginning of the, of the video, I'm going to try to do this every month where I give you my top 10 sales for that particular month. And um, I'll do my best to have it up there because I really like the style of presentation as far as, you know, if you're out looking for um, what I should look, what sells well, what, should, what I should be looking for at garage sales, thrift stores. And um, it's a really great, great way to um, know what to look for. And I'm really happy about it. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next video for your boy, Roddy Bizzle. Thanks for watching, everyone. Oh, don't forget to subscribe and like. And tell your friends. Have a great day, everybody.